It is 745 and it's time for Tech Tuesday. And this morning we're digging into one of the most anticipated smartphones this year, the iPhone 12. Not anticipated for us because then it makes our phones old. We so. just bought our 11s, yes, Can't coincidentally. Keep up. Can't keep up. <laughs> Apple's latest device arrives this week and some new features to look out for if you are considering getting one. I know everyone's talking about all the features now that we're getting the reviews out there. Tech expert Greg Nibbler joining us live to break it all down. Hey, Greg. Hello. Yeah, a lot of people are going to be getting their iPhone 12s later on this week, but I think a lot of people are in the same boat as you. But to, to talk about it a little bit, just kind of go over some of the features, we're starting to see some of the reviews come in. So uh, this week, it's going to be iPhone 12 and maybe the iPhone 12 Pro. There's some delays that are going on with some of the other ones. So there were four of them that came out. Uh, some of the reviews saying, obviously, not no surprise, really good cameras, really good screens. I mean, it's an iPhone. It's going to be pretty quality all around. But something that's interesting that they're bringing back, it's kind of old, now new, kind of reinvented, is MagSafe. So MagSafe, if you remember on some of the laptops starting about like 2006, for about 10 years there, they had that magnetic latch. So when you would charge it, it would snap on with that magnet. And a lot of people loved that. They went away from it, got rid of it, but now they're bringing it back in a different way for phones. So these new iPhone 12s are gonna be, um, are gonna be able to use MagSafe. So it's a new kind of charger. It's kind of a circular thing. It snaps onto the back via a magnet. So it really is just that simple. You snap it on, that's it, and you're charging. And it's kind of starting a whole new line of products for them. They're releasing some cases that are gonna be magnetically snapped on. They've got some wallets that will snap on. So it's kind of this modular idea to where you just snap all this stuff on, it would charge quickly, and, and kind of opens up a whole new line of products for them. It also leads the way though towards portless phones, which is kind of the goal of a lot of these companies is to eventually get rid of all the ports on your phone. So right now the headphone chargers are gone for a lot of them. Uh, you can still charge the iPhone 12 with the regular like lightning cable, but I'm gonna guess that's gonna be going away before too long too as they start rolling out these things. But, but it's an interesting way of using this technology. It sounds really simple, but it's actually, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. So is there any benefit to getting rid of all those ports? I mean, is there like an I mean. You can say that it could be more waterproof. Okay. Uh, for them, it changes up things internally. So it opens up some space, even just using one of those ports, you can open up more space for maybe more RAM, maybe more of a battery. But eventually, I think it's it just comes down to manufacturing. It'll probably save them a lot of money mm -hmm. by doing that as well. So it's it's whether you like it or not, it's kind of the way that things are going to be going. Interesting. OK, well, good to, know. Uh, good to know. Yes. So so a lot of things happening in space, kind of exciting. And apparently NASA is going to live stream this asteroid landing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I get really excited about anything with space technology. So uh, this is going to be going on later today and anybody can watch this. NASA is going to be live streaming at about 2 p.m. Pacific. I think it's when the live stream starts. And then 3 p.m. or so, you've got this spacecraft called the OSIRIS-REx, which has been orbiting an, an asteroid called Bennu for about two years now. So this, this whole thing has been like 10 years of work uh, culminating in what's going to be happening today. And so as it's orbiting this asteroid today, later on, it's going to do what's called a tag procedure, where it's going to be setting down this robotic arm onto the asteroid. It's going to blast it with nitrogen and try to stir up dust and rock and then snag some of that and then continue orbiting. It'll, it'll pull back if it's successful, pull the arm back, continue orbiting for the rest of the year and then start a two year mission to come back to Earth, bringing actual samples of this asteroid to it. It's gonna actually launch it down onto the Earth. It's gonna land in the Utah desert uh, in theory, you know, in a couple of years, I think 2023 is when it'll make it back. But, but the whole thing though, is that you get to watch it live as NASA covers it, whether it's successful or not, it's pretty cool the kind of footage that we can get now and, and who knows what all they have in store for it. But it's gonna be a pretty exciting broadcast and I just love the fact that we're getting so many so many great things, whether it's commercial, industrial, scientific, all of this footage for, for, space, uh, for space things is just really fun. Yeah, mm. it is. It's going to be fun to, to live stream. Yeah. It sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, speaking of space and asteroids, uh, another fun story making headlines this week. We've got a, a pre-election asteroid headed our way that scientists are now tracking. What is going on here? <laughs> yeah, this has been uh, circulating for a while while people have been worried about this. So let me just say this. The world, uh, and this is according to Neil deGrasse Tyson as well, the world is not going to end from this asteroid before the election, at oh, least not bummer. this one. 
So I know, right? <laughs> it's 2020. Who knows what could happen in the next couple of weeks? But this is an asteroid that's supposed to, it has a, a less than a 1%, I think it's 0.41% chance of hitting the Earth. But here's the thing. It's the size of a refrigerator. It's called 2018 VP1 is the name of it. And even if it does get into the Earth's atmosphere, it's just going to burn up. So it's not going to do anything. So despite what you're seeing online, despite social media, this asteroid won't be the one that makes us end up like the dinosaurs. I can't guarantee there's not another one out there. Mm -hmm. It's 2020. The aliens could be coming. I mean, we don't know, but <laughs> this won't be the asteroid. Th this so is not safe on that one. a Ben Affleck movie. Then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> we're we're okay. safe for now. We've got well. time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg.